Hi Andy. Um, I'll get straight into it. Jimmy Osborne did yeah. you on Saturday. Can you talk to us specifically around what it is you see from him as a full back? Because we haven't seen him play a lot of full back since his under 20 days. Yeah, um, well, first of all, congratulations to, 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 to Jamie and his, uh, and his family. It's, uh, as always, it's a privilege for us to, to be able to name uh, somebody in the starting line for the debut, especially in, as, uh, with an occasion like this. So congratulations to, to, to Jamie and we'll, we'll celebrate that tonight with him and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll uh, do him proud on, on Saturday as well. But as far as Jamie as a, <clears throat> As a player is concerned, in my mind, a fullback. Um, this has been this has been in the pipeline for, for for quite some time now. In regards to Jamie's been in and out of the squad, obviously as a development player, but also he's been picked in squads before and been unfortunate to be injured. Um, hence, in the Rugby World Cup uh, training squad, um, he got injured pretty early and. You know, we were, we was gutted for him though. But when Jamie's been into the squad on uh, numerous occasions, he's he's always filled in for us in all sorts of different positions. Certainly, certainly at fullback, as well as centre, etc. But anyone who knows Jamie as a rugby player and uh, and his background uh, as a, as a junior coming through, a lot of it's been uh, in the in the 15 jersey. Uh, but it's just his skill set. That uh, is is uh, is very is very interesting for us to to see how we um, uh, how we use the skill set that he's that he's got. He's obviously gonna gonna add to to our performance because what I've seen certainly uh, lately to the back end of the se uh, back end of the URC season is that whenever he plays, he's got presence. It doesn't matter what position he plays. Uh, he suits the way that we play. He's bright. He gets himself on the ball a lot uh, in an organising way. He's very good. His, his communication is good and it's accurate. Um, he's obviously got nice soft hands and, and can play play that way, but also he can hit a line as well. To add to that, he's deceptively very quick, good in the air, very athletic, um, and he's uh, he's got a big left boot on him as well. So uh, is that enough for you? <laughs> and then just on Craig Casey, of course, and I'm sure Greg will feel like that as well. He'll he'll see this as his uh, big opportunity. Uh, he deserves it. He deserves the challenge to to start a, a test match like this, and uh, we're looking forward to see how how he um, uh, drives the team forward. Um, well, any time that you pick any side, you know, there's, there's always there's always a risk, but you've got to go with uh, what you think is going to be best for the team. And his skill set is undoubtedly uh, uh, the right fit for us with Hugo um, obviously being, being out of the squad. It's, it's, it's a slot where we can have a look at Jamie and how he, uh, how he adds value to that is something that we've been excited about for. For, for some time now, and we get the opportunity to do that. No, and you and, and do you know what? I always say this, doesn't don't I, about um, uh, Stu, Stu Stu McCluskey? Like you know, I mean, his form's been great. He's been great in training. You look back at some of the big games that we have won, and he's been involved in a lot of them, and he's not even in the twenty-three. You know. Um, Obviously, Gary's a class player. That that's the waiting to come on to to add to the team. So it's as uh, it's as tough as it gets, and it's exactly where you want it to be. Any other questions from the live section? <coughs> how how are you looking at this test series? Like that, um, like that. There's <laughs> like you've obviously had to, if, if you look back at the team you have this weekend, like there's a lot of changes to to the side you would have had. In South Africa at the World Cup, so there's a mix there of very experienced players, but also guys getting a, an early opportunity against the world champions. But that's what 
happens in all sides um, all the time. You know, people get injured, people retire. New kids on the block always always come through. Some people are always uh, informed. Some people, not so much. So that's that's the game, isn't it? You know, um, look at all of our squads over 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 the last uh, while. Uh, there's always something. In fact, I, I look back on some of the games and realize uh, what well, I look back on to try and uh, think about what happened within that game, say four or five years ago. And sometimes I can't remember who played, but. Uh, it's always mixing, mixing and matching, you know. I think that's been the strength of uh, the the Irish uh, squad over over the last number of years. And you talk about uh, you're you're not training a lot tomorrow. You normally, you would always see you training at the, the ground before the game. Is there a particular reason you're just staying at the training place tomorrow? Um, yeah, I suppose the players, a lot of them, have been there uh, and done that. Uh, we're obviously made the conscious decision to, to stay here in Joburg uh, and it's been great for us. We got here nice and early. The training facilities are, are great. Um, we're not travelling down to stay in a hotel so that there's less moving around. There's been a bit of that towards the end of the season so it just keeps us a little bit more relaxed, that's all. Um, yeah, bracketed with a few others, so uh, open-minded enough to see how it goes. And with the extra couple of days that we've had uh, training and pre uh, prepping-wise, it just confirms things a little bit more. Uh, so you go with what you're, what you're seeing and, and what your gut's telling you. Uh, I spoke to Hugo quite a bit. Um, uh, there's no way that if somebody has got a dream like that, no, don't don't get me wrong. If ten of them had a dream, there's a different <laughs> yeah. there's a different decision to be had there. But um, when he was highlighted from from the sevens management that the that he was in there thinking, then the question goes to Hugo. If Hugo, if that was a dream of his to do that, there's no way that I was standing his way. Well, we slotted him in, I think, 10 days ago now. <clears throat> You're in at 15. How's it going, Jamie? Yeah, great. I'm all across it, no problem. And he's a, he's a, he's a quiet lad, and he comes across as, as, as quite shy, but he's not. He's, he's, he's confident in his own ability. You can tell with how he prepares, how he plays the game, etc. And he's all across his stuff within, within, a, within a few days, and he's very comfortable.